And the crash is exposing how a Missouri law meant to protect you could instead get your employer off the hook if you die on the job. News 4 investigates Susan L. Corey uncovered the loophole now getting the attention of lawmakers. On Telegraph Road, lives have been lost. And that blood is on your hand. New signs join a growing memorial for James Brooks and Caitlin Anderson, who was six months pregnant. They were working here on a MoDOT striping crew when tragedy hit. Caitlin went to work. She should have came home. Anderson's family sued MoDOT for wrongful death and negligence. The case for Caitlin got dropped, but it's moving forward for her unborn son, Jax, all because he wasn't MoDOT's employee. When I found out, I was like, wait a minute, you got to be kidding me. Missouri and State Rep Michael Burton says he never knew that was a possibility. Recently, News 4 Investigates exposed how Missouri's workers' compensation law comes with a big catch. They can kill you for free. If you're unmarried and don't have kids younger than 18, your employer can use the law to say they're not liable if you die on the job. That's exactly what MoDOT did in this case. Court filings show they successfully claimed Missouri's workers' comp law protects them from liability. Do you feel like that law sends the message that some people's lives matter more than others? I, I think so to a certain extent. So if we don't change the law, they're going to keep putting their employees in very dangerous situations. Burton is looking at ways to take out that clause. MoDOT isn't talking, saying it's because of the lawsuit. News 4 investigates learned the department put the crew's supervisor on paid probation following an internal investigation into the crash. Currently, he's still oversees road crews. Safety is a very big problem with MoDOT. And accountability is a big problem with MoDOT. For the families who lost their loved ones. Caitlin's life all of a sudden became meaningless. They're marking a year, asking what could have prevented this and still waiting for an answer. Do the right thing, you know, for the families. We're hurting, we're still hurting. We'll have to wait until at least January when lawmakers are back in session. Burton tells us he's putting this change at the top of his priority list. You can count on us to keep on following what happens. Susan L. Corey, News 4 Investigates. There is a lot more to this story. News 4 Investigates has been following this crash for months now. You can see all of our coverage on the KMOV News app. Let's take you out live.